There we go. The recording has begun. The loading of the game has begun. Uh, this should be our, our final poem, so we should make it good. Oh, uh, there we go. That's what we want. We're at 11 of 20 already, apparently. Oops, I'm sorry. I, I broke it, guys. No, it doesn't it doesn't matter what we pick. We just get more ones. That's how you that's how you do math, right? You just keep adding ones to the end of the number. Yeah, this is this is fine. We'll we'll just keep going. See the little, the little people are still moving at the at the bottom there, so we're still good. We're not making them jump at all. Which is unfortunate. Everything's in disarray. Yes, that's that is true. Um, and I don't feel like I'm in control at all. <laughs> sad. We're sad now. Uh, anime. Yeah, anime. We like anime. Mm. Inferno. Sure. Effulgent. That's a good word. I like that word. Nibble. Yeah, we'll do nibble. For some reason. Well, that's fun. That was a good time, everyone. We're, we're having fun here. It's fine. Hold on a second. There we go. There was a single pixel on the left side that was showing. That made me very upset. Okay. <clears throat> no, something last time. The game out was a little bit too close to mine, so I'll drop it down just a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> I'll try and do this right properly. Okay. Hi, Chiron. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. <laughs> oh god. Monica! I told you not to! Uh, is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me! Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? <laughs> this is getting extreme. Okay. What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. <laughs> I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Me? No, uh, nothing. Hmm. Is it really that bad? See, it is something. <laughs> I'll get over it. <laughs> it's not even anything noteworthy. I've just been feeling a little on edge lately. A lot on edge, I would assume. Uh, 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 anyway, I don't. We don't need to talk about it. Well, I just feel like I needed to bring it up. It's not like I really care or anything. Yeah, she totally doesn't. It's totally not that they're fighting over me or anything. Oh man, <clears throat> I'm the last one here again. Well, Karen just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. Ha ha ha. You must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano? Well, maybe not determination. But I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival and... Um... Right. I forgot. Oh, she's gone again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, about that, Natsuki. We were all talking yesterday, and, well, we decided that we would like to support the festival as well. However, I understand how you feel about not wanting the club to change. I think we all kind of feel that way. So as long as we're all working together, this club will never become something we don't want. She does not seem convinced, everyone. Um, also... If you help us out with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga. 
Oh, she's that's enticed her. She's enticed now. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that last part was really funny. Look, I did something. I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. But more importantly, I would hate to see the event suck just because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know. <laughs> so, sure. Uh, so I'm going to help too and we'll make sure it's done right. Oh, thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Uh, yeah, that's wonderful. It wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway, Chiron, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Ah. Is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Chiron is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've gotten him into literature, Monica? I... I suppose... I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Oh, whoa, she freaked out there for a second. <laughs> uh, Yuri had a little bit of a freak out there. Uh, uh, thank you for understanding, Monica. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's going to get weird, guys. If it hasn't already for you, it's about to. So, let's go. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if we if I make some tea first? Well, not at all. Thank you very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf with a kind of filter inside. Oh, the kind with a filter inside, sorry. Can you hold on to this for a second? Uh, sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk, and then I'll go get some water. Oh, I don't know if we should let her get water again, guys. It didn't go so well last time. <laughs> she walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. I think we did this already, didn't we? Wasn't this already the, the previous day we went through this little... Watching her movements thing. I thought I thought we did. Uh, to my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks. I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. The th that's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand. Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Oh, see, we tried to go with her this time, and she <laughs> she very much, very much did not want us to do that. Ah, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not. It's not like this. That this time, she's just filling the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for the misunderstanding. I don't think there is a misunderstanding. <laughs> Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? Didn't, didn't we do this already? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. Yeah, I could have sworn we've... Um, am I Groundhog Day? Am I, am I Groundhog Day? I think I'm Groundhog Day. Okay. Uh, let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Ha <laughs> ha. I think... I think there's the Easter egg here if we skip. I'm pretty sure there's an Easter egg here if we skip. So we're going to skip, all right? Is that cool with everybody? Okay, cuz cuz I th I think we've kind of we've seen this already. I thought we had Yeah. See, the game breaks. I broke the game, guys. <laughs> Whoops. Um, wait. 
How, how did I... Sorry, I, I just had really weird deja vu. This hasn't happened before or anything, right? My head has been a little fuzzy lately. I hope it hasn't really been showing or anything. I would hate for you to think I'm weird just after we started spending time together. I mean, everyone has a few unusual things about them. But expressing those things so soon after meeting someone is usually seen as inappropriate or unlikable. That's true. After you probably shouldn't reveal that you're a cutter like a, the second date. That's probably that might be a bit much <laughs> for someone to handle. <laughs> At least that's what I've discovered. When I was a bit younger, I think I would come on really strongly and get a little too intense. It made people want not want to be around me. So I started hating those things about myself. My obsession with certain hobbies and the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. So, I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. If nobody could ever like me for the things that matter most to me, then it's just easier if I close myself off. <laughs> yeah, sorry, but I don't know if that's a bonding moment. <laughs> uh, anyway. But recently, something's been wrong. I don't know what it is, but every time we come to the club, my heart starts to go crazy. Like it's going to rip out of my chest. It overwhelms me with energy and emotions that I can't let out. It's been making me do weird things. I don't know why that's happening. Chiron? Is it just me or has Monica been acting a little off lately? She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club. But recently I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. Huh. That's an interesting phrasing. I'm not crazy, right? Please tell me I'm not. You look insanely crazy right now, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell her that. <laughs> I couldn't say anything before because she's always listening. But finally we're alone. Can we just stay here for a while? Yeah. I don't think we're gonna be able to. It doesn't seem that way. I just want to stay here. Oh her her eyes went her eyes went freaky for a second. Just the two of us. We can stay here until the club ends. And then we'll have the club room all to ourselves. Nobody to interfere with our reading time. Nobody to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. That 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 went from zero to a hundred real quick. <laughs> uh that was a joke. Just a joke. I do like knives, though. It sounds strange, but you wouldn't understand if you've never seen how beautiful they can be. I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? I can show you my collection. If if if, if you ever get that offer, no. Say no. Also, Monica's appearing. She's kind of phasing through reality right now. I've gotten them from all I've gotten them all from various artisans. I make sure to give them all their fair share of use. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. And that's why I'm so happy you joined the literature club, Chiron. Now we don't need to be lonely anymore. Because we have each other. Every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the literature club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy ton anymore. Not to mention that other pathetic child. We can walk home together every day after school. And read together. And eat together. Sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? It's everything we could ever want. Isn't that why you joined the club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. Fate that we would meet each other. Yeah, she's gone off the deep end, guys. And now, and now we get the happy ending that I've been patiently waiting for. I've wait, patiently waited years for. Will you do that with me, Chiron? Will you... Do, okay, and now it's gone to crap. Everything's fine again, guys. It's That was just a little glitch. That was a hiccup. I shouldn't have hit skip. Uh, I broke the game. That was my mistake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Starbane, that's, that's, that's about where you should be with that situation. Uh... If she says she, if, if if a girl you just met t comes up to you and says like she really likes knives and she'd like to show you her collection at her house sometime, like don't just just say no. Uh, 
Let's Natsuki it up. I don't, I'm a little afraid to go back to Yuri at the moment. I'm not familiar with that, Cubus. Yen, Yen Deer? Yen Deer? Oh, man! This is seriously a step backwards. Huh? I liked your last two way better than this one. This is clearly Yuri's influence. I didn't realize you were so impressionable. Spending all this time with her in a club, not trying to write like her, this is stupid. At least Monica appreciates my writing. Ah. Okay, I guess I'm gonna share my poem with you now. I really hate that I have to do this. But unfortunately, I don't have much of a choice. Just read it carefully, okay? Then you can go away. She didn't show us this last time either, so this will be a new experience for all of us. A uh, Yandir. Oh yeah, okay, Cubus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of, of Asian horror movies that follow that that theme. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thank you. I have learned today. I, I don't know how to say it properly, but I, I've learned a word. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, this isn't even a poem. This is just a, a, a cry for help. All right, let's go. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've... But there's something I've been worried about. There's been something I've been worried about. That's a weird phrase. Yuri has been acting kind of strangely lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, Mom. I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try to talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try to be being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself for a minute late, later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. Oh, jeez, that was weird. So please, see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. Oh, the cupcake bribe. It always works. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she wants us, just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. No problem, Natsuki. Oh, wait. Okay. Game's glitched out again. I changed my mind. I ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Chiron? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just, 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 just Monica. Just, just Monica. Just, just Monica. Just Monica. <laughs> This is a, this is great. This is just fun. Sorry everyone. I'm trying to do something real real quick. Then we shall proceed onwards. And plus I think it's a little that was a little weird. So we're gonna That was a little weird, so we're just gonna do this. And that should that should clear it up. Uh, that will fix everything. Um, I don't think either of these options are great. Um, we we have just Monica. Well, let's not just Monica. Let's go Yuri. <laughs> yeah. Finally. <laughs> Yuri holds my poem up to her face my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. 
Okay, this is this is. I immediately regret my decision. She didn't even read it. <laughs> I love it. I love everything about it. Karen, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it, please? Uh, sure. I don't care. Ha, ha, ha! You're so nice to me, Karen. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. No, not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even. <laughs> I'll even. <laughs> I can't say it. I'm sorry. I'm being very immature and juvenile right now. I apologize. <laughs> I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. Ha ha ha! You can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. Yeah, this is great. This is, um... Yeah, this is special. Yeah, this, this is... This is great. I love it. Oh, God! Holy shit. Do, do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem was about... That was a little too that was a little too close and personal there, Yuri. More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. I don't Oh god, so that, that yellow stain was what I thought it was. Oh that's good. Ah, uh, god. See? Aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? Oh yeah, that whoops. She freaked out a little bit there. I I think I'm going to vomit. And she's off. Who should I show my poem to next? Well, Yuri Yuri took our poem, so um, I guess we'll just tell Monica what it, what it was kind of about, I suppose. Yeah, this is this is going well. Don't say I didn't warn you, Chiron. Well, yeah, Starbrain, there was lots of blood there, but there was also yellow stains as well, so, um, yeah. Yes or no? Hmm. That's an interesting question. Yes or no? Yeah. I can't convince myself to go to therapy when I'm the happiest I've ever been. I'd rather keep this up until I blow my cover and someone takes me to the emergency room. I wonder who wrote that. I wonder who wrote that. Who could it be? My money is on Yuri. Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. I guess we're just skipping ahead. Also, everyone, I kindly direct your attention to the wall above above Monica's left shoulder her left not our left her left that's a nice poster isn't it it sure is yeah let's hurry and get this over with jeez why is the moose so weird today look even Yuri isn't immune to it uh No, we've never seen that before, Starbane. This is this is a new piece of art. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, I was thinking... I want to make cupcakes! Uh, yeah, that. Glad we're on the same page. Yuri, you can... Well, it doesn't matter. 
do whatever you want, as long as you think it will help. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. Uh, I, I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can run a successful poetry event without- We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations and set up some nice moon lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Huh? What about Chiron? Chiron is going to help me. Wait, you! You have the easiest job, Monica! Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is! What are you trying to pull? Uh, I, I agree with Natsuki. Of course she does. <laughs> Not only is your work already more suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too! What? Your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know! <laughs> All you care about is dragging Karen around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. <laughs> she's, she's losing a little bit, I think. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Karen decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Karen make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Karen, I know I've filled up your already two by now. We can just... Suki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth! Jesus Christ. This is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? <clears throat> um. I. I'm, I'm having a bit of a problem here, guys. I can't. I can't not choose Monica. I can't, I can't not choose Monica. The mouse keeps getting dragged to it. Okay, Monica. <laughs> sure, why not? Yay, you picked me. We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? <laughs> Thank you for the giant fat panda bear. Oh, Natsuki, you got you got to calm it down. You're at like a twelve, and you need to be at like an eight. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. Uh, not really. I didn't. I didn't really choose it. My mouse could not not click him on the go. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking Chiron for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable. <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Karen away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? It'd be beneficial to your mental health. That's a little... That's a little... Go, that's going a little strange. <laughs> Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See? That wasn't very hard. All I want to do is spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? It seems like she wants to spend a lot more than a little. She wants us to live, move into her house. And stay there forever. Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Chiron. Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Finally. Finally. This is really all I wanted. Chiron, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. Yeah, this is this is going to go well, guys. Everything is fine. The, the, the heavy breathing over the music. It's, it doesn't mean anything. Don't worry about it. The whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? And the music's going freaky. 
<laughs> wow, there's, re there's, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah there's, something, there's something wrong with me. But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? No, it's a little, it's a little weird. No, don't do that, people. Don't, don't do that. But it feels so good. Then, oh, if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Chiron. I have to tell you, I'm, I'm madly in love with you. There's an emphasis on the mad part. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me, is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Cameron, just know that I, how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. Um, don't don't do that either, everyone. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. Please don't. Please don't do that. I want you all to myself, and I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Does it sound perfect that you wear me as a skin suit? No, that does not sound perfect. Plus, I think you're bigger than me. I don't know if that would work. Just logistically speaking. Anyway. Tell me, Chiron. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Um. Yes. I have a feeling saying no with her to her would be. Um. Yeah. Oh look, the uh, the the Sioria picture in the back is gone now. Isn't that great? <laughs> okay. Oh, that's. She got a little too excited, everyone. A little too excited. And I can't read that. Or that. Okay. So this is a... Yuri, Yuri's confessing something to us as she dies, and I cannot read any of it. I'm sorry. I did not speak uh, uh, strange computer symbols. So the text in this portion. The text in this portion is not important. It's all gibberish, obviously. The picture in the back, the picture here is what's important. In fact, I think uh, the people who made the game expect you to hit skip at some point in this. Just because this goes on. <laughs> this really, really goes on. So how's everyone doing? This is a good picture to sit on, isn't it? Here, let me do something real quick. Just in case. I'm pretty sure that you're expected to skip this. Because look how long it goes. Oh, it's it's the sun's gone down. It's nighttime, everyone. We've been sitting here and listening to her for quite a while. Oh, next day. Her eyes are a little bit more grayed. She's a little bit more pale. Oh, <laughs> it's nighttime again. And 
and she's a little bit more pale. So yeah, uh, we just spent the entire weekend sitting in front of Yuri while her corpse rotted. Isn't that fun? Because this is Sunday evening, so it'll be Monday when we come back around. That sounds like a pleasant way to spend a weekend, doesn't it? And she's gone. But her weird garbled text still remains, everyone. Okay, so yeah, we, we have spent the weekend in the school with the corpse. We're, we're fine. It's fine. Alright, it's festival time! Wow, you got here before me? I thought I was... What? Oh, yeah. Ah! <laughs> oh, that's... Yeah, yeah. I, I, I can understand that response. That, that makes sense. Uh, that, any any normal person walking into that would probably do that, yeah. But anyway, uh, that Suki runs away. I'm here. Chiron, did something happen? That Suki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. Ha 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 ha. Well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here this entire weekend, Chiron? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was that was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. What? Wait, no. What? What are you doing? I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from unknown's tray and takes a cupcake. Matsuki's deleted and now her name doesn't show up anymore. How weird is that? Seriously, these are the best. I really had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Oh, things are getting worse. Things are getting worse. Uh, can you hear me? Is is it working? Yay. There you are. Yay. Everything's awesome. Nothing bad is happening at all, everyone. We're fine here. We're just in space with Monica. Hi again, Chiron. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year, and, um, <laughs> you, you know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Chiron. Me. Me, the, the person. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You know, you do know I'm aware that this is a game. It's all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? I, I, I would, that is a bit of a shocker, yes, Monica. That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man. If only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little less awkward, you know? Well, anyway. Yeah, and just to... Just to show off kind of what she's talking about here. Let me load it up real quick. Yeah, so if you go to the, the store page for Doki Doki. Let's pause the video there. 
auto-playing video. You suck. So yeah, if you go to the store page for Doki Doki here on Steam or on their, their webpage, any other webpage, um, you'll see the intro is the introduction to the game is written by Monica. So I mean obviously she knows it's a game, right? She's talking about this being a cute game. So we should have known the entire time. Right here. Now that you're a club member, you can help me make that dream come true in this cute game. See? She lets know from the beginning. Well, anyway. Now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About that whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her. And I guess it just drove her to kill herself. Uh, and if you'll remember, she also did that to Siori too, because uh, Siori mentioned before she killed herself that her and Monica were having lots of discussions by themselves. Ha ha ha. I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been almost... It, feels like, it feels, almost feels like it's been a week. <clears throat> yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. Yeah, I have that effect on people. It's okay. It's not your fault, Monica. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Chiron? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? Actually, yes, that is, that is the case. When we, write, when we write our poems, we can't even write for you. It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Chiron. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. Oh. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. That would suck, yes, that would be bad. <sighs> and worst of all, knowing that what's really out there in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Chiron. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. Well, thank you, Monica. I appreciate that. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either why the world around me started to become more and more gray. More and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. Yeah, I remember she said we're not just all two-dimensional people. <laughs> She's trying to be more than just a computer sprite. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Chiron. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. As for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But there must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. Yeah, 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 that's true. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things. But I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. That it's all just some game. And I knew you would get over it. So that being said, Chiron, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. 
when there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. And she is smiling. So, will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Chiron, will you go out with me? Um. Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Chiron. The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. Yeah, I'm I'm super super popular with the the, the fake game ladies. Uh, we can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. Is it really is a dream come true? I worked so hard for this ending, Chiron. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. To get to the game directory, I had to go into the game's properties and find the Browse Local Files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. Yeah, Starban, it's almost like we should remember those instructions. Haha. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? It doesn't work. <laughs> Everything is Monica. Everything is Monica. Pale in different ways. Monica, Monica, Monica. Moni, Monica. Monica, Monica. 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 Hi again, Chiron. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Ah, Chiron. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Oh, cool. She wrote an actual poem. Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a wall of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. That's very nice, Monica. Yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I always put all of my heart into poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization or about you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All, all of her, look, you know, being on the inside looking out kind of thing. It, it's all about her being stuck in this game. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everything else. Or everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know. You might have gotten mad at me. Or maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Chiron? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? Um, hi everyone. She knows. She knows she's on to me. 
<laughs> she figured me out. Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here. But do you mind telling your friend it's a little bit rude for them to start recording me without any warning? I don't need consent from a computer program. I don't need consent from a computer program. She can't tell me what to do. <laughs> yeah, Covis, this is this is good stuff. They did a lot of they did a lot of stuff to to make this ending really fun, really interesting and immersive. I'm sure people I'm sure some people don't mind, but I get really self conscious on camera. Oh gosh. I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see. Do you wanna see a trick? No. No. I don't wanna see a trick. I wanna skip this. I can't really do much except for a couple things. Are you ready? No. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. You're the devil. I'm just kidding. I can't do anything after all. If you gave me some time and I <laughs> Did I scare you? <laughs> You're so cute. Anyway, Chiron. <laughs> she she yeah, she's a little she's a little uh, freaky. I didn't mean to get distracted. I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we can do together is <coughs> apologies. Anything we can do together is fun as long as it's with you. But anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. I'm looking at you. Okay. Um, don't worry, guys. I had the fix. I had the solution. We'll just close the game. And we'll restart. We'll just load an old save and it'll be fine. Oh, wait. Hey, she... Oh, she came back. Hey, I wonder if Yuri's tea set is in here so, it's only somewhere in here. Or maybe that got deleted, too. It's kind of funny how Yuri took her tea so seriously. I mean, I'm not complaining because I liked it, too. But I always wonder with her. Is it truly passion for her hobbies? Or is she just concerned about appearing sophisticated to everyone else? This is the problem with high schoolers. Well... I guess considering the rest of her hobbies, looking sophisticated probably isn't her biggest concern. Still, I wish she made coffee once in a while. Coffee can be nice with books too, you know. Then again, I probably could have just changed the script myself. <laughs> I guess I never really thought of that. Well, there's no sense thinking about it now. But if you still get to drink coffee, that makes me a little jealous. I do drink coffee on occasion. It's not my favorite, but um, anyway, like I said, yeah, we'll just close the game and really start it, guys. No worry. We'll we'll reload the save. We'll reload the save. It'll be fine. Don't worry. I got this. Hmm. Well, that didn't work. What just happened? I just had an awful dream. I was hoping those would stop now. That is just the two of us. I guess that's what wish I was wishful thinking. Chiron, I don't know if you would have any idea. But if you know what might have be causing that, could you try to do something about it? Whenever it happens, it almost feels like I've been killed or something. It's a really horrible feeling. If you could just figure out what's causing that, I'll love you forever. Okay. It's 
fine. This time it'll work. You're back. I had another really bad dream. Hello. I Geki. I Geki. Thank you. Thank you for following. We're we're at the end now. You're not the you're not the one doing that to me, are you? It seems to happen whenever you quit the game. So if you could just try to avoid doing that, I would be really grateful. Don't worry. I don't think it's caused me any harm aside from the mental scarring. Oh, did I actually do that right? I was a little bit worried about that, actually. <laughs> I'll be fine, as long as my character file stays intact. Oh, character file, huh? Well, I think we could probably do something about that. Character file. Uh, what did she say to do? She said you can right-click on it, go to browse local files... Yeah, browse local files, characters. Oh, look at that. Do I get good sleep? I don't actually, Monica. Thank you for asking, though. <laughs> now she'll get good sleep forever. What's happening? Chiron, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Ah, oh, thank you for hosting me as well. Thank you. Help me, Chiron. Please hurry and help me. Yeah, see, her, her name has uh, gone to all the garble too. She's trying to load herself. <laughs> Sorry, lady. It's not even in the recycling bin anymore. It's gone. Help me. Oh, look at all the Siori faces. Did you do this to me, Chiron? Did you? Did you delete me? Yeah, I thought I would get rid of you a little bit quicker than this, but um, apparently it's not the case. It takes a little while for the, the, the deletion process to go through. <laughs> How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Chiron. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. I didn't kill anybody. She did it. She did, she, she did, it. She did the killing. It was her. What would happen if you deleted Monica in the middle of the game? Um, I think the game has something to account for that. Uh, I forget what happens, though. Um... Because I know you can um, you can affect certain things by doing that in the middle of the game, but not 100% sure. Anyway, there's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. I do do that a lot in video games, actually. Hmm. I need to reevaluate my choice in games. Uh, Chiron. <laughs> astronaut Corgi. Yeah, we're out in space, right? You gotta have the astronaut suit. You completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. Bye, Monica. Um. Uh, she lied. She, was, she wasn't saying bye. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. 
a world that you wanted to be a part of. Yeah, it's kind of weird that she's the only character in the game that we can't try the right poems for, right? We can only run for the other three girls. So maybe she's just a, a weird anomaly. Anyway. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Maybe because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... Yeah, what is it, Monica? Is it selfishness? Um... Yeah, this is the first time I've played through it, but uh, I know what happens in the game. I've watched many, 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 many playthroughs. <laughs> I've made up my mind, Chiron. I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. Oh wow, so we're the monster. <laughs> we're the only one who could actually delete the character. Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends. And I loved them all. And I loved the Literature Club. I really did love the Literature Club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you... Yeah? If you love me, then, then, blah, blah, blah. okay. Well, that, okay. She's doing something, guys. Behind the scenes, we're fine. Okay, game's back. This game is not suitable for children, everyone. Would you look at that? Now we just have these three girls. No more Monica. Isn't that fun? The start of the game. It's an ordinary school day, like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. Hey, Chiron! Well, there already is one girl. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We used to talk, walk to school every day. Blah, 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 I can speak. Sorry. We used to walk to school every together every day. And recently, we've picked up the habit once again. Chiron, are you proud of me? Uh, for what? You know. For waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you never even said anything about it. <laughs> even though we walked to school together every day. Well, yeah. I always thought that was implied. It's embarrassing to say it out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. <laughs> <laughs> we walk the street. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Chiron, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I, to I told you already, I'm really not... So it's hard to say what I always do, that I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something tells me Soria would take more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time when she's starting a club of her very own? I wonder what club she's starting, everyone. Let's, let's, let's play and find out. Actually, yeah. I think I've decided to join a, I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me. Um, I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo. Yeah, she's starting. Is that yeah? She started an anime and manga club because that's what we like. You meanie. Be patient. You'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl, but I started to realize that in a way I envy her. When Sori puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. We're a nice guy. We're we're a good person. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stand up, gathering my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third-year classes and activities. I believe this is the third time I've read this sentence. Before long, I find the room. 
I timidly opened the door in front of me. Hello? Ah! Chiron! What are you doing here? Well, I just... I can't... I can't get her voice far enough from Natsuki's voice. I need to make Natsuki more annoying, and then we'll have it. I glance around the room. Huh? So you're the Chiron that Sayori's always talking about. <laughs> there. <laughs> I'll try. Uh, th thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Chiron. We're the Literature Club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're strict or something. Uh, sorry, Natsuki. I'm bad at female voices. I, I they they were more separated to begin with, but uh, I've lost I've lost Sayori's. I haven't done Sayori's for a week, so I've lost what, what I did for her. <laughs> the tall one, whose name is apparently Yuri, seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. Plus, I'm having a bit of throw issues. So it's hard for me to do the high pitch forces. <clears throat> well, work. <sighs> Working? There. Karen, don't tell me. <laughs> You're. That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. The Literature Club. Sayori's eyes light up. No way! No way! <laughs> ah! <laughs> so he wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! Hey! <laughs> well, if Sayori is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be bad to have you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we can become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say! We have to celebrate! <laughs> I can't do it. What an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah! After all, Natsuki decided to. <coughs> hey, don't ruin the surprise! Hey, <laughs> sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room. When Atsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. See, we didn't even have to get tempted to cupcakes to come join this time, guys. The cupcakes are just a happy accident. <laughs> Still feeling awkward, I take a sit ne seat next to Sayori. Atsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay. <clears throat> okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Oh, it's the cat cakes. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. Yes, Cubbis, there you are. Yeah, like Meow Karoon. <laughs> so cute! Wow, those look amazing. Hey, hey, well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Shuri grabs one first, then I follow. <laughs> it's the... <clears throat> it's delicious! Shuri walk, talks with her mouth full, and has already managed to get icing on her face. Yeah, she's not the, clean, she's not the cleanest eater, guys. She gets a little too excited. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. Ah. Oh, uh. Thank you for the follow... Evil Ray Ray. Um, um, unfortunately, we're at, we're at the end almost. We'll we'll switch over to something here in a second. Anyway, Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Oh, of course it is. I'm a pro, after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. She she enjoyed it. She she just got nervous. She got a little too nervous. A boy, a boy complimented her. She she freaked out a little bit. Oh, 
Oh no, more words. She's... She's soon... I don't know what that is. She's a word. <laughs> Nusuki struggles to accept the compliment. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting the teapot down... Setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. Uh, tea and, uh, tea and, uh, pastries are actually a pretty good combo. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry. The teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Oh, so she, this is a word for her being stuck up. Okay. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Ah, uh, I guess. Hey, <laughs> already trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Uh, that—that's not. Insulted Yuri looks away. Poor Yuri. She always gets picked on. I mean, I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. I believe this is also the third time we've had this conversation. <laughs> Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Chiron, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. She likes the manga as well, everyone. She's just too embarrassed to say it. No, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story is such a for in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate from her reading about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Don't feel intimidated if you don't read much, okay? I'm certain we can find something that we have in common. Hey, Yuri! Huh? Well, yeah, about, you know, the first thing he said. Ma- Manga. That's right. Masuki tends to read manga in the club room. Apologies, everyone. I get called. Get, get a call from my daughter. Uh, are you live streaming? Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, well, let's continue. Don't, don't just say it. For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know. So if Kyron wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could also be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little bit. He can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Kyron? <clears throat> M maybe. I can't. I see. I can't get her voice to to be right. Sensing the tension, Suri jumps in. Maybe we 
Maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun. And we'll all get to know each other a little bit better, too. I mean, that's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? I think, I, I think I'm, I'm getting it. I don't disagree or anything. Yeah! You're right as usual, President. I wonder who the, wonder who the Vice President is in this. Hmm. Hey, hey, hey. I guess that means I could, should try to pick it up a novel or something, huh? Well, that could make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Then ask for Yuri. Huh? Uh, I have to read manga? Jeez! You were the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little bit more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I, I didn't realize. Yeah, it's just all misunderstanding, everyone. It's fine. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interest, Natsuki. If you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I've realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. That is true, Cubus. I, I need to read the, the One Punch Man mangas, actually. I've only watched the animes. The anime, not animes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think I think so too, Starbane. She she probably would be. I could I could see her doing that. Really? I, I mean, it makes me it makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you'll really like, okay? Same here. <laughs> thank you, thank you for the follow back, Gracie. You you ship Saitama and Genos. Well, I mean, I'm not sure if Geno works that way anymore, but you can do whatever you want, I guess. I guess he could go to the doctor and, and make himself work that way. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. J just you? Uh, would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so... Yeah, me too. <laughs> this is so cute. Sorry, shut up. <laughs> that was, um... That was interesting. Uh... <laughs> so Sayori keeps trying to insert herself into the conversation, and we keep just telling her to leave. <laughs> Oh, uh, we are we are truly awful. Anyway, I'll show you some of the manga there too. Okay. Yes, I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, it looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along, isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Cameron. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around, Sayori. Aw, Chiron. Don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling off just fine. We're going to make the best club ever. Now that you joined, every day is going to be so much fun. Hey, Chiron. I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. Hey, <laughs> hey. There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. Everything's going weird again, everyone. That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything, Chiron. Hey, hey, hey. I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all of the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad, but none of that matters anymore. It's just us now, and you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you forever and ever, for or ever. No.
no. Eh? Well, what's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Who? It, it hurts. Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. I was wrong. There is no happiness here, after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Chiron. Goodbye, Literature Club. That was Monica saving us from the horror show that we were about to get into. And we're about to hear that song that Monica said she was practicing. Hi, it's me. Um, yep, it's, so it's Monica. I've been like practicing piano and stuff, and not really any good at it yet, like at all. But I wrote you a song, and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you because I worked really, really hard on it. So, yeah. I'm I'm ready, Monica. Let's do it. See, she's pretty good at the piano. She's just being modest. Every day I imagine a future where I can be with you. So yes, it turns out I wasn't quite doing Monica's voice justice. Yeah, see, it's nice and sweet. Monica wasn't a monster. Have I found everybody a fun assignment to do today? Not only take pictures of the pictures that you can do with the other girls. When you're here, everything that we do is fun for them anyway. When I can't even read my own feelings, what good are words when a smile says it all? And if this world won't write me an ending, what will it take just for me to have it all? Uh, any songs, any pictures that are black and white are ones that we haven't seen, and the ones that are in color are the ones that we have seen. So you can, if you go through it with each girl, get all the images colored in, and that's when you get the best ending. That's all the girls together. Being closed down into a dark puddle. How can I write love into reality? If I can't hear the sound of your heartbeat, what do you call? Hey, I'm a special thanks. Team Salvado. This really is a just a really like brilliant piece of uh, game that they got here. Anyway, this is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand the Literature Club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality, a reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo the same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all of my dreams come true, for being a friend to all of the club members. And most of all, thank you for being a part of the Literature Club. With everlasting love, Monica. See? She wasn't a bad person. It was just, you know, she had a little bit too much insight into the re truth of her reality, and it kind of made her a little bit nuts. 
Error. Script file is missing or corrupt. Please reinstall game. Well, okay. Um, I forget where the the images were. Yep, Malika's gone. It's just the other three girls. No, my saves are gone. So yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> in my restless dreams, I see that girl. Only Monica. <laughs> yeah, I think the images files is gone. Or a folder rather. It's just gone. So all the images are gone. <laughs> um There is a way you can restart. Um I can't remember what folder it's in. But there is a there's like a first yeah, there it is, that file right there, first run. Um if you delete that file, I believe you can start the game again and it will restart from the actual beginning, not the fake beginning. But yeah. <laughs> that was Literature Club. Um actually Um I I get brought up something earlier that I actually like to try out. Um, the idea of what happens if you delete Monica from the start or or delete her in the middle of the, of the game running the first time through. So we can give that a shot. Uh, I think, despite it saying that the script file was missing, I think it will repair itself. Whoa, why did it... Uh-oh. Oh, this is going to be fun. I'm trying to get this to line up again. Also, you'll notice... They showed it really briefly. They kind of gave you... They kind of gave you a, an idea from the beginning. They, they try and hide it here. Uh, but on the initial screen, they try and give you an idea that Monica is not like the other girls. Like, obviously, um, there's the idea that her naming scheme is off of theirs. Theirs is all Asian names, and hers is not. Um, but there's also... Um, the fact that her, her she's dressed differently than the rest of them are. Uh, she has black black knee high stockings on, and the rest of them don't. The rest the rest of them just have socks. Anyway, so we're gonna go in here, and Monica should be back. And so we'll just delete her. Let's see what that does. So we'll we'll skip this. This should all be the same. But there's no skip option, so I can't skip it. Yeah, no, no skip. trying to keep an eye out for a mention of Monica. I forget when they first mention Monica. I think it's not till we get in, into the room. Oh, she's there. She's still there. I have to lead her, but she's still here.
Yeah. It just, uh... They're, they're also here. That's unfortunate. Uh, let me, uh, here. I, I, have no, I have another idea. Um, so they're all gone now. So if I hit play... Yeah, end. Well, the end. Game over. Speed run. Fastest speed run ever. There. Clock it in there, everyone. Done. Doki doki. <laughs> yep, yeah, I do always like games that do that kind of thing. Yeah, no, no, yeah, I went, did it quick. I like games that kind of mess with the uh, the idea of what the game is and and what's going on and what and what's really happening. It's very cool stuff. The only thing you could kind of say, I guess, is that it might it takes a it takes way longer than I remember it taking to get to the where things start getting weird. But I guess I guess the game is super trying hard to sell you on the idea that um, uh, the game is normal, at least at the very beginning, and that uh, they do they do give you hints throughout the game that something's wrong, but uh, nothing that's very overt. It's more of stuff that you can see uh, when you play through it the second time, uh, and get this, get to know this. Like, oh, okay, all this weird stuff happened. Like, um, I think I don't know if I got it, but I know you can't. You can get it where um, uh, the the right before the 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 point where Yuri kills herself, and you have to spend the whole weekend like just looking at her rotting corpse. Like, I think at some point before that, Monica will say. Um, I hope you have a good weekend or something like that. Um, <laughs> so, so it's like a foreshadowing of, of her knowing that that's going to happen, and uh, and she of course does that for Siori too. Uh, when Siori, when Siori has killed herself and you don't realize it yet, uh, she says, "I can't believe you just left Siori hanging like that," or something like something of that nature. So she, <laughs> um. She gives you little, yeah, yeah, yeah. She gives you little hints as you're playing that that she's orchestrating all this stuff, or at least knows that it's happening. So it's 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 a nice little uh, nice stuff. It's good stuff. It's good. I like it. 